Throughout this module, we learned a lot about how to work with databases from our Node Express backend. We started in the place.js file here. Here we defined our schema and the corresponding model, which we then used in the places controller. Here we were able to perform all CRUD operations, so create, read, update and delete, referring to our places here. We then applied our knowledge also for the user.js file. Here we again created a schema and a corresponding model and then were able to create new users or to get the existing users in here in our users controllers JS file. What was missing though was the connection between these two parts, so between the places and the users. This is what we finally added in this module. We learned that we can connect different models and schemas with the ref property right here. And this allowed us to create places and to make sure that when we create a new place, the ID of this place is also added to the corresponding creator. At the same time, we have the creator ID stored in the place. And we also made sure that if we delete a place, that this place, so the corresponding ID of this place to be more precise, is also removed from our creator. As part of this, we learned awesome methods like down here, our populate method, which makes it very easy to get access to documents stored in different collections in MongoDB. So this is it. This was the database part of this course. I hope you enjoyed it. And now we can continue with the next part and this will be connecting the front end and the back end.